Want to know an easy way to reattach sponsors and name sets? Then check this video out. Hello there. Something we get a lot of messages about is people asking how to reattach things like these letters onto a shirt or to reattach portions of sponsors that have come off name sets where they got a little uh, come a little bit looks like the thick block name sets rather than the vinyl ones and over the years we've tried out a few different ways of doing it we've tried fabric glue we've tried powder glue and we've tried another uh, material that we think is the the, the perfect one because what you get with the fabric glue is it can set solid and therefore leave quite a hard residue or a hard feel to whatever you've stuck down. Also, if you look at the back on the inside of the shirt, you'll see where the adhesive has, has kind of come through the material. So we don't think that's necessarily a good way of doing it. What we're going to show today is how we do it using something called double-sided fusible material. You might have heard it called Wonderweb. Wonderweb is a is a brand um, and is typically used for, for hems. So you will get it in a, a long kind of thin band. And that's perfect um, if you're doing smaller bits. But sometimes you might want to do a, do a shape that's bigger than a, um, a, a thin band. And therefore, it's probably better to use a, long, a, a big roll of the, the fusible material. You can cut it into strips if you want to do it. And it's actually a, a fair bit cheaper to buy it in a, a per metre. I think it's something like six or seven pounds per metre for a big roll of it. Or you can pay six or seven pounds for a strip of Wonderweb. So we'll go into that a little bit later on. So I'll take you over to the to the ironing board now and show you how you do it all. Right, so what we've got here is ironing board. Here's the shirt that we want to reattach some letters for. Luckily, I've got some donor letters from a, a, a donor shirt. I think it was a kid's shirt, actually. Worked quite well with the sizes. And also, we've got a letter here that's part attached and part come away. So we're gonna we're gonna go through attaching that. Now what do we need? We need an iron set on hot-ish. We need some heat proof tape. We need some scissors. We need a water activated pen. We need some of this. This is the double-sided fusible. You can get double-sided, you can get single-sided. The single-sided stuff is good if you're trying to mend holes um, and you're just trying to kind of attach some material to a hole and then put the, the, the fusible over the back as a backing, that's fine. But this is double-sided, so make sure you get the right stuff. But, I mean, this is just a, an off-cut of it. Like I say, five, six pounds for a metre squared of that is, it'll last your life uh, a fair while. And then you need a bit of paper. And the reason for that will become clear in a second. So what we're going to do is we need to cut a bit of the fusible to be the size and shape of this letter G. Now, if we use this pen, it's great, but it will almost certainly leave marks on the shirt because we'll want to put, we put the fusible underneath the letter. Let's just lift it up. So you want to kind of draw or do dots around the shape of the letter. The trouble is this fusible is kind of activated by water, so the minute it gets moist, it'll start dissolving and turning into a glue. And this pen is water-based, so therefore it will do that. It will activate the glue on the fusible and, and start melting or, or dissolving, but then that means the pen is going to go through onto the shirt. So what we want to do is we want to lay a bit of paper under the letter, okay? And now we want to get fusible to also go under the letter. Try and get it to go right to the edge of where the, the letter is detached. Now what we're going to do with the pen is we're just going to hold on to 
the the letter and we're just gonna do little dots around the shape of the letter just to the outside of the shape of the letter and I'll explain why in a second so let's just get this done and then one more dot there right so pen is done with for the moment and now there you go look you can see he's gone through onto the paper that would be on the shirt if we hadn't put the paper there so now we've got some dots on the fusible so i'm going to cut around the shape of the dots right so here we have it this is pretty much the shape of the letter g now let's lay it underneath and we'll see how it looks now, I don't know whether you can see, but there's a, about a mil or two around the outside of the letter G. Um, so it's a little bit bigger than the shape. And that's absolutely fine. Now, with, if you're reattaching added flock, what you'll get is on the underside, there'll be a layer of padding. I can't really see, but there's a layer of padding under there. Now... That means it's not totally flat on the material. If you if you cut the fusible to be the exact size, what you'll get left with when you when you use the iron and, and, and glue it down is the edges, the very edge of the letter will have a little bit of a gap because it, there's not enough fusible there because the, the depth of the foam kind of lifts it up off the material a little bit. So you need to leave a little bit of an edge around it all. Now, what I'm gonna to need to do is I'm gonna to need to trim this G a little bit uh, to, to make it the, the right shape. But I'll do that later because that's not exactly it's not exactly a spectator sport as I always say um when doing some of this stuff. So in true Blue Peter style, you the the younger viewers thinking what's he talking about? Here's some I made earlier. So here is the letter E with the fusible behind. So I am now going to lay that down and just attach that. So I can just about see the shape of where the E was. I'm going to put the letter E back on top and position it i think that's positioned about right right now get the tape and you really need to make sure it's securely taped down because you're going to need to turn the shirt inside out and in that process you can kind of dislodge the letters or the letter a little bit and then you'll get it in the wrong place so let's just attach this heat proof tape i don't think you can ever use enough heat proof tape it comes off pretty easily after but it really does hold it all in place yeah. Go. So here we go. Here's the letter. Let's now take it off. Oh, Alexa's going crazy. She's obviously subscribed to our channel and is listening, learning how to pick shirts. Right, let's turn the shirt inside out. Let's make sure that hasn't. No, that's absolutely fine. So, I don't know whether you can see, but here is the E. I can feel it through the back. 
So now what I've got here is a wet towel. Lay that over the back. Make that a little bit wet. And what the instructions say is that you should use a hot iron and, and run it over it, the material until the towel is dry. So let's do that. Try not to let the iron come into direct contact with the material. You can see it's getting there, so let's keep going. And it's the steam from the, the, the water and the heat that's activating the glue and will give us a nicely stuck down letter. A little bit longer, and then I think we're probably done. All right. Now I now carefully turn the shirt back around. A few moments later. Give it a little bit more of a press. Give it a little bit more pressure as well. make sure the whole of the E comes into contact with the fusible. There we go. Right, so let's turn it the right way around and just show you. So there we have it. There's the E there. Now I'm going to let this set for about 20 minutes to dry and to set, and then I'll come back and show you the outcome. And there you have it. Here is the finished article. I've left that for about 20 minutes or so. Let it the adhesive fully set and it looks pretty good to me. A few bits, points to, to kind of make around using this is you've got to make sure you apply the heat to the rear of the the sponsor. If you apply the heat, even with a wet tea towel and what have you, apply it to the front, you're going to end up melting this kind of plasticky material, especially for the older types of sponsor. Also, tape. Make sure you use loads of tape to secure it in place so that it doesn't kind of move while you're turning the shirt inside out. And then the other bit is around making sure you apply weight to it while it's drying. I mean, this has been sat for 20 minutes or so. Heat press with it clamped down, not on the heat press, but totally off. If you haven't got a heat press, then just some books, like some weight on it, anything that gives it some weight, and then that will make sure that the glue dries with as much of the, the sponsor touching the material as possible. In terms of washing the shirt, I would be really careful with this. I mean, look, it does a good job, but at the end of the day, it's still going to be quite delicate. So I would probably hand wash in cool, maybe tepid, warm water, but I would try and minimise as, as much as possible how much you rewash it. So there you go. I think you'll agree. It looks pretty good. I'm going to now go through and do the rest of the shirt and put something up on, on Twitter to show what the end result looks like. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please remember to click like and subscribe. It really helps our channel. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask again through Twitter, Instagram, or in the comments below, we'll always get back to you. So thank you very much.